But Padre Pio, more than anything, uh, was the, the living image of Jesus Christ, um, which, by the way, is a good working definition of what a saint is. Padre Pio made present Jesus Christ and him crucified. Uh, we're all created in the image and likeness of God, and um, the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, is Jesus. Padre Pio became more and more like Jesus in his time on earth. Uh, he loved God, and then out of that love for God, he loved souls. He loved all of humanity. He had great compassion, great empathy uh, for all human suffering. Uh, one of his great works was, a, was basically a, it's a spiritual work, but also a temporal work. Uh, where both the spiritual and temporal works of mercy are manifested in his house for the relief of suffering. It's a great medical facility uh, that he built. And, um, he, he cared about those who were sick and suffering, and, and he met um, so many thousands of them and prayed for them and suffered for them. And also those who uh, suffered morally and spiritually, he had great compassion uh, for them as well. In his whole life was uh, an offering, an oblation to God, a sacrifice to God for the salvation of souls. Uh, we see this uh, manifest in his uh, uh, living out of the priesthood. Um, number one, uh, his great love for the Mass. Uh, that was the center of his existence. Uh, um, Indeed, it, the Holy Eucharist is the source, the center, and the summit of the church's life. And it should be of every single member of the church. It certainly was for Padre Pio. It was the source, the center, and the summit of his very existence. He lived to celebrate the Holy Mass each day. And he did it with such great, great reverence. Um, in addition to that, uh, the confessional. He certainly was a saint. Uh, of the confessional. He spent long, long hours in the confessional um, uh, absolving people from sin, setting captives free. Uh, Jesus, the high priest, working through the ministry of his servant and saint, uh, Padre Pio. And um, so many thousands would go, you know, there he was in the monastery, which he never left. He didn't go out preaching. Um, he, he was um, pretty much uh, not, not strict in closure, but he, he was in the monastery, and he was basically didn't, didn't leave it, except on very rare occasions um, uh, to visit his parents a, a, a couple of times. He, he'd go out to vote, by the way. Padre Pio would leave the monastery to go out to vote. He took very seriously uh, his civic obligation. Um, and in an election year, I'll just throw that in as a side note, take that very seriously. Uh, Padre Pio would certainly um, think well of that. So he was a priest of the Holy Mass, the confessional, uh, and, and of prayer. Um, he had a tremendous devotion to the rosary. Uh, 